My name is Don Nelson. I'm editor of the Additive Report and host of the Additive Reporter video series. And today I'm going to talk about the upcoming Additive Manufacturing User Group Conference, which will be held April 3 through 7 in Chicago. And with me to talk about it is Jordan Weston, who sits on AMIG's board of directors. Besides his work with AMUG, he is Manager of Operations at the Rapid Prototyping Center of the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Welcome, Jordan. Yeah, thank you uh, for having me. You bet. Um, before we get into talking about the conference, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. How, how long have you been involved with additive manufacturing? So I first started getting involved in additive manufacturing in 2008. So I think we're coming up on 14 or 15 years now. I uh, had a friend that I was uh, in undergrad with at Milwaukee School of Engineering, and he was working in a place called the Rapid Prototyping Center, which does um, rapid prototyping, 3D printing, added manufacturing, um, kind of uh, uh, helping a consortium of companies learn the how, when, where, why to use 3D printing to solve their challenges. So I thought that was a, a really cool job that he had and was interested in an opportunity and um, ended up getting a, uh, an internship there. And I uh, worked there for a number of years and still here today and um, served a number of roles, currently manager of operations. Prior to that, uh, project manager, uh, held a, a graduate research position for a bit. And then, of course, the undergraduate internship role. So, okay. Well, can you tell me what it is about additive manufacturing that, that you like that got you into it? Well, I think it was just the, the new technologies and the, the um, uh, freedoms that you had, um, you know, lack of a better word, the cool things that you could do with 3D printing that really had me interested in it. Well, what's the coolest thing you've made? <laughs> the coolest thing we probably can't discuss. Um, so with the <laughs> consortium, we've, uh, um, it's, um, we're all under NDA, but um, we've done, um, you know, my, my background is uh, biomedical engineering. And um, so the entire time I've been there, we've had a project running with um, doing some pre-surgical models uh, and that always kind of resonated with me, the, um, the impact that we have to, um, you know, improve the, uh, the quality and the outcomes of a, of a surgery, because uh, a surgeon is able to do some um, preparation on an actual model developed from CT scans, um, yeah. a 3D printed model. Yeah, yeah, I, I've seen some recently, some uh, medical devices and, and aids for surgeons, and they're, they're just astounding what, what they allow people to do. Turning to AMUG, what, what are your duties there? So currently, I'm the uh, Director of Education and Conference. Um, so I play a role in um, laying out a lot of the activities that happen through the week. So there's a number of pre-conference activities, off-site tours. Um, I, I did a lot of work in developing um, a lot of the general sessions, finding some of the keynotes, uh, really putting a lot of that stuff together. And then I also worked a lot with the, uh, um, the track leader committee to um, develop a lot of the content for the different tracks and the breakout sessions that happen after the general sessions let out. Okay. Uh, you, you mentioned about keynoters and I'm really excited about the two keynoters that I saw. One is Kevin Zinger, who is uh, the founder of 3D, 3D Divergent which is a manufacturer of, of high-end automobiles that are very, very fast, 180 miles an hour. Uh, and they have a lot of 3D printed parts in them. And the other is um, Ellen Lee, who is technical leader of additive manufacturing at Ford Motor Company. Do, do you have any idea what kind of things they're gonna be talking about? Yeah, uh, first I think it's really exciting to have um, two members from the automotive industry, both be keynotes at AMUG. Um, I think they're going to give, you know, some very similar but different perspectives uh, just based on their background. Um, Kevin is representing uh, and leading a company that is uh, seeking to disrupt the way that we manufacture at scale. Um, and then Ellen is representing a company that has been around for a century. They've seen it all. And she'll be discussing a lot of the um, impacts that automotive has had on changing the manufacturing industry. Uh, things like the moving assembly line, uh, new material development, um, new manufacturing processes, and then kind of looking forward to see 
what role automotive will continue to play in um, disrupting manufacturing and, and the role that additive, manu uh, additive manufacturing plays in that. Another you know, popular thing that goes on during the AMUG conferences are the technical competitions. And, and what that is, is for, for viewers is um, members are, are invited to 3D print objects and then uh, they are judged by a group of people, previous Dino winners. Those are uh, what are those Distinguished Innovator Operator Award winners. Uh, this year, you've got a little bit of a different wrinkle. In, a, in addition to the judging by the Dino Award winners, there's also going to be a people's choice where attendees vote for their favorite um, 3D printed um, entry. Tell us a little bit about the competition and why you are inviting members or attendees to participate. Yeah, definitely. So the, you know, for a number of years, we've had this technical competition, both for advanced concepts and advanced finishing. And the judges of that competition have been those um, Dino Award winners. And uh, these are individuals that have been recognized by AMUG for their time in the industry, um, their expertise, and then also their willingness to share their expertise year after year at AMUG. Uh, as the conference has grown, we've received a lot of feedback from members that uh, they also want to have a voice in um, determining winners of the technical competition. So while these dinos may have their criteria for choosing the winners for the advanced concept and advanced finishing, um, we also newly created this um, member's choice award where the, all of the members, um, it's open to everybody to vote on who the members feel um, should be a winner of the technical competition. So it gives them an opportunity, it gives the members an opportunity to have their voices heard in this yeah. competition. Okay. Uh, talking about attendance, I know that the attendees are, are limited. Wh wh who can come to this conference? So this conference is um, it's different than a lot of other ones. Uh, it's a user group conference and the members uh, or the attendees have to be owners or operators of additive manufacturing equipment or um, involved in the additive manufacturing ecosystem. And it's um, uh, members are, are vetted at registration to make sure that they do fit this criteria for attending. And the reason for that um, is that this is a, 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 a conference that is built around education, uh, sharing of information, and really uh, promoting the use of, of new applications and development for additive manufacturing. So we want everybody that's at AMUG, everybody that's attending AMUG to be able to um, engage in conversation with everybody else there and to bring as much value to the conference as they may be um, taking away from it. Okay, and, and talking again about attendees, what a first time attendee, what, what, what do you think the big takeaway for them is? Or what, what, what was the takeaway for you at your first conference? I would say um, the, the networking and the, the sense of community. Um, really every aspect of AMUG is built around promoting um, networking, meeting new people, sharing information and sharing ideas. Um, from the uh, uh, breaks throughout the morning to the networking lunches, which are uh, actually randomized seating so that every time you go to lunch, you're meeting a new person or people. Um, for the evening events, uh, this isn't a conference that, you know, last, uh, last presentation lets out at five o'clock and then everybody goes their separate ways. Um, there are networking evening events built into the agenda all the way through the final day, um, the Thursday night. So uh, dinners, um, uh, networking opportunities, uh, grab a drink, meet a new person, uh, ask questions. You know, what are you doing with 3D printing or additive manufacturing? Uh, what sort of challenges are you seeing? Um, what, what new things do you see on the horizon? And um, again, it really is just a, a, a great networking opportunity, uh, builds a huge sense of community. Um, you know, I've been attending since 2012 and I've just had these long lasting friendships that have met, met at AMUG. And um, you know, it's, it, for a lot of people, it gets to a point where it feels almost like a family reunion and not like a conference. 
Uh, well, Jordan, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you at the AMUG conference, April 3 through 7. And thanks to our viewers for tuning in.